Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Eli Miller. Today saw clear skies and cooler temperatures, but the main story for today is the wind that we've been seeing. The wind's been blowing our camera all over the place on our clay center cam. Also, that flag has been just blowing all day, and that's what we'll see throughout tonight and then really early tomorrow. Uh, winds will calm down in the next couple of days. Still a little bit breezy, but nowhere near what we saw today. Clear skies currently at Emporia. Not a cloud in the sky currently at Central Topeka. Temperature right now, 58 degrees. Feels like 58. Check out the winds, though. Out of the west northwest, about 24 miles per hour. That's sustained wind. We're actually seeing gusts about 35 to 40 miles per hour in some areas. We'll start off this morning right on average. 40 degrees is our average or our temperature this morning and also our average. Today got up to 58 degrees at 6 degrees below average. Average high this time of year is 64 degrees. Some warmer air is on the way. Our storm system off towards our north and east, bringing some cooler air into the eastern sides of Kansas, but off towards the west. Well, it's quite a bit warmer and that warmer air will move in. 67 at Liberal, 67 at Goodland, 63 at North Platte, 62 currently at Salina and temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s for Northeast Kansas. Got to 60 degrees at Manhattan and Concordia so far. The only two locations to do that. 55 at Marysville, 57 at Lawrence as well as Burlington, 58 currently in Topeka and we're seeing those winds. This is a uh, well wind speed right now, sustained winds about 20 to 25 miles per hour, Manhattan being that outlier out of the north and west. And we'll see these winds as we go on throughout tonight. And temperatures tonight will drop down to the middle to upper 30s at times. And tomorrow just a little bit warmer than what we saw today, lower to middle 60s for highs tomorrow. But it'll be breezy tomorrow. But the good news is nowhere near what we saw today. We'll still see a wind about 15 or 10 to 15 miles per hour out of northwest on Wednesday or throughout tonight. And then Thursday afternoon, well, it'll be breezy, but not what we saw today. 15 to 20 miles per hour out of the northwest, uh, not quite as gusty or blustery. As we go into Friday, winds calm down Thursday night into Friday and become almost northeasterly to easterly, and eventually becoming southeasterly by Friday afternoon. That'll crank some warmer air into the area, 10 to 15 miles per hour for Friday afternoon. But right now, hanging on to clear skies, the system that brought us that rain on Monday and, and Tuesday, that's now off towards the north and east, dumping all sorts of rain towards the Great Lakes, some snow towards Wisconsin and well, the uh, Michigan and off towards our west. Here it is, this area of high pressure that settles in. That gives us a nice pattern for the next couple of days. Dry, lots of sunshine, but then off towards our north and west. Here comes our next storm system again, the Pacific Northwest, digging off towards the south and east. A lot of energy dropping off towards the south and east. A lot of movement in northeast Kansas. Give us a storm chance as we go into Saturday. Let's go ahead and time this out for you tonight. Clear skies and going into tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures a little bit warmer. Really, today or tomorrow looks absolutely fantastic. A little more cloud cover builds in Friday morning, especially in our western counties, but still generally a mostly sunny sky. Here comes our next rain chance. Saturday afternoon, a line of storms will move through, possibly some strong, too severe storms possible for Saturday evening. That lines up and moves through and clears out by Sunday morning. Sunday dry, maybe some rain off towards our northern counties. But the day that everybody's waiting for, eclipse day on Monday. Now, Monday morning, a mostly cloudy sky. What models are indicating, so it may see some clearing by the time of the eclipse. Here it is Monday at 2 o'clock, eclipse about 155, 156. Showing some clearing, maybe not for our northern counties, but maybe some sunshine popping out for some folks in our southern and southeastern counties. It's wedged between two systems. Another storm system rolls in Tuesday night into Wednesday. So really we're watching that eclipse day, maybe possibly those uh, systems moving around. Right now, we're looking at a, well, really a partly cloudy sky for Monday. Several storm chances on the seven day, getting warm on Saturday, 74 degrees. But Monday, 70 degrees, partly cloudy sky. Something simply we're watching. Hopefully we clear out before we get to that eclipse. But if that cloud cover lingers on, Maybe some folks missing out on viewing that eclipse. Yeah, good news though, there is a warm up. Yeah, <laughs> coming that's right. Away, that is so. true. We do have a couple of pleasant days. And you think you'll be able to fine tune the eclipse forecast by maybe Friday night, somewhere yeah. in there? Yeah, the next couple of days we'll get, especially getting closer, we'll be able to fine tune that and really tell you exactly what we're looking at. All right, Eli, thank you.